Oh my goodness, you don't have to have such a death grip on me. Tipper's getting ready to shed, so he's got blue eyes and he's all dark. I heard him cough, so I took him out to check him. It's just because his nose is dry. Hey, you're turning my hand red there. Can I have my hand back? Get my hand back. Thank you. I think snakes are beautiful when they're trying to shed. I know their skin's a little more sensitive, so I'm naturally more careful about handling them because it's got to be very sensitive for them. I think that's why many of them get irritable when they're shedding. You can undo your tail. Yeah. There you go. Uh-oh. Tipper just found my ball of yarn. Those pretty blue eyes. Somebody's getting ready to shed. I help all my snake shed, so they're used to being handled when they're trying to shed. It doesn't bother them really at all. They're used to it. When they start to shed, they'll get the skin off their head and their face, and then they'll stop and just sit there and wait for me to take them out and do the rest. <laughs> it's a habit I've had for a lot of years. So they know, but they will seriously sit there and wait for me to help them finish shedding. And this is Tipper, the one that's a rescue. He's away over here. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you off to? Look at those blue eyes. Yeah. You can have my camera. No, you can't. No, you can't. Oh, my goodness. Here. You don't need my camera. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just think you do. Look at those pretty blue eyes. Tipper's getting ready to shed, so is Ginger. Several of my snakes are in shed. Chewy's trying to shed. Jade's trying to shed. Both the corn snakes are trying to shed. Uh, I think that's all the ones that are. Those of you and Grumpy are just digesting food and laying around. All these have eaten recently over the past week, so. Oh, dippers go shed. Aren't you pretty? Look at those blue eyes. Their vision's greatly impaired when they're getting ready to shed because of protective covers over their eyes. So that's why I think a lot of them get really cranky and act pissy because their vision's so impaired when they're getting ready to shit, but yeah, this is Tipper, and what was a rescue. Well, you can see, even in shed, he's just as friendly and docile as he is when he's not. That depends on how much they're handled and how much they trust you to handle them. Tell him handsome. Can I show him how handsome you are? To yeah, in my pink belly. See my pretty pink belly? Their belly always turns a pink color right before they're shed. What? Make sure I'm people your belly. Huh. Oh yeah, you can see he's very passive even though he's trying to shed. Pretty pink tummy. Yes you do, look at that. He's got death grip on my leg. <laughs> what? Look how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are. Blue eyes and a pink belly. That's not a typical appearance for a ball python. You just go sit there and hang out? Okay. Hi, handsome. It's not unusual for their nose and their nostrils to get dry right before a shed. And I've, at my snakes, I've had, my ball pythons especially, you'll hear them cough once in a while right before they shed. I usually take a little vitamin E oil and gel and put it on their nose. Not in their eyes, definitely. So it softens it up so it's easier for them to breathe freely. Just a little bit on it, and it helps it a lot. And yes, I've gotten a stupid head cold. 
New York's weather can't decide whether it's coming or going anymore. What? Who <laughs> leave my camera alone? Yeah. Both my adult pie, ball pythons are five feet. As you can see, he's got a heck of a grip on my leg. And they're very strong animals, but they're very passive. Yeah, I said we're good natured. We don't bother him. But you leave that key ring right alone. Uh -uh. <laughs> nope. Snakes and key rings do not play well together. No, they don't. Tipper's got to shed pretty soon. That's that dark scar he's had on his head since I got him. What was from a rat bite? It sheds every month, but the scar itself never really heals. So he's just got like a really dark, it looks like a star on his forehead. Well, it wouldn't be his forehead, but on his nose. What are you doing? Huh? Show people how big you are and how handsome you are. What are you doing? Yeah, Tipper's getting ready to shit. There's your boyfriend. There's your buddy. There's your buddy. There's your buddy. Tipper's got cat hair on him. That's your buddy. Is that your pal? <laughs> You're a ball. That's the name ball pipe. You gonna get cat hair on your head, Tipper. Open up. You can open up. There's your buddy. There's your buddy. Say, so why is he like that? I'm used to seeing him stretched out. There he goes, he's moving. Here come Tipper. Here Tipper. Hey Tipper. Here he is. Here's Tipper. <laughs> he get under your feet. Huh? Did he get under your feet? Yeah. There he comes. You gonna sneak up on Deeper? Yeah. You gonna sneak up on her? You gonna sneak up on her? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. That's your buddy. Yeah. That's your buddy. Yeah. Purring. Tipper makes you purr. And no, my snake's try not trying to choke my cat to death, and my cat's not trying to kill my snake. Yeah. So my cat's stick for yeah. There's your pal. There's your pal. He's determined to get up on my shelves today. Yeah. Tipper giving you hugs. Huh? Vicious, aren't they? Can't you tell there's so much hate there? That's the first part. He's determined to get up, get into everything that I know. Yeah, that's your buddy. That's your buddy. She loves her snakes. Is that your pal? Ten years they had this relationship going. What Deeper and Ginger have. Tipper not quite as long because Tipper was a rescue, but Ginger was the first ball python that Deeper minded with. They're friendly. They sunbathe together on the bed. You're not getting on my shelf, though. No, you're not. No, no, no. Yeah, can't you tell my snake's trying to kill my cat? It's not wrapping around her neck. It's going across her back to another point. Which is what animals do. If they want to go from one place to another, they have to travel, and that's what they do. He is not trying to kill my cat. 
for the people that don't have a clue what snakes are about, I just thought I'd give you a quick little display on education that just because they move across an animal doesn't mean they mean them any harm. <laughs> it's just that to get from point A to point B, they have to travel just like everybody else does. Oh, it's your baby. It's your baby. Buddy.